actually opening up that conversation, does it help you understand their what life might be like yeah. kind of on an everyday basis, in a real concrete way, the way life is for you and, and your friends and, and from, from this place? Uh, does it kind of make that feel a little bit more tangible? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was understandable. So. This one is my ELA students who are involved in a, a writing exchange specifically, um, they're really able to connect with another culture outside of their own through writing and reading. In this class, uh, which is level four writing, it's um, the ultimate goal is for them to be able to write a, kind of a well-structured traditional five paragraph essay. My students, for example, are able to write their narrative stories about their pasts and you know why they came here and how they came here and who they are and their families and their cultures and basically kind of communicate all of that in a pen pal format almost. And so there's great opportunity for students across the campus to really learn from these ELA students and their stories. I write about my story, something happened to me in the past. So that I'm, yeah, I'm very interested to write it and, and try to be a good writer, you know. We know more about how to write better. We know more how to improve our writing. How is it that artists uh, tell stories? And so the cross-cultural exchange with Brian, uh, we just started talking. I mean, Brian does ELA and, uh, you know, just trying to get to know each other and uh, learn about what, what our classes are all about, kind of how we, what our, where our focuses are uh, on teaching, um, you know, it became evident that uh, there was a real opportunity to create an exchange between our two classes. The current writing exchange that I'm doing is a alternative version of the cultural exchange that we have previously done in which you have a, an ELA class and a non-ELA class meet they get together, they have an overlapping class time, and they talk about meaningful things relevant to the class and basically get to know one another um, in a safe and structured environment. So the writing exchange is a little different because it allows two instructors, a non-ELA instructor and an ELA instructor like myself, to get together without an overlapping class time. So. Basically, as an ELA instructor, I reach out to another instructor around the college and ask if they want to get involved in a writing exchange. I mean, I teach ELA and I'm doing an exchange with an art appreciation class, you know, like art and ESL, what does that, what connection does that have? So you can absolutely connect it to your, your course outcomes. Plot, right? Yeah, good. Okay. So you have, what is I was already having my students do a, um, what I would call a message in a bottle letter, where they were writing about their own culture, their own society, their understanding of their, their themselves within that culture and society, and they were kind of, I was having them write that out in a letter form as if they were going to send it across the ocean and they don't know who was going to pick it up or how they would interpret it, right? And then, you know, as we were talking, we realized, oh, well, we actually can send these letters somewhere to people that uh, are from all over the place. So you want to know what in the story? Uh, what things? Students are not going to get as much value in it if you can't connect it to your course outcomes. There's the cultural learning component, absolutely. But if you can tie it into a writing outcome, for example, or an art appreciation outcome, um, whatever that may look like, then suddenly there's a lot of buy-in from students. It's a way to take an outcome that exists in a course and just bring it to life. What will you read, do you think? Volunteer? Give me one idea. Yeah. So my general sense at this point, I've done cultural exchanges before face-to-face um, -face where students meet and talk orally with each other. Um, so this semester my students are lining up pretty well there. I'm seeing lots of um, kind of anxiety in a, in a normal, healthy way, right? They don't really know what to expect. Uh, when I read the papers, I know, I know uh, new information, new things about the American culture, and I get a great chance to reflect my, my culture. And this exchange of culture is, 
uh, is provide me great opportunity to, to know the other culture and these people know our culture. No one is perfect, so you can miss uh, some details. So if your partner asks you a question, you can improve your essay. Uh, let's see, I've got uh, Islam. Folding it into my curriculum, uh, it would okay. be, if it wasn't this, it would, I'd be doing something else that would require the same amount of time. Uh, and um, I, I think uh, it's, it's something that doesn't really require much more work. Um, I just feel like it's a much more productive uh, assignment than other things I could be, could be doing. So I feel like it, 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 it has a lot of value. A common misconception that a lot of teachers have is, oh, if I do this, then I won't have time to get through my regular course content. Um, or I can't do this because I'm so busy in class. So it's not an either or thing. There's a great, um, the, the great part about this is that instructors can, can connect it. No matter what you teach around the college, you can connect. Um, this, this exchange, this writing exchange to any course content. The fact that you want to go into business administration is awesome. You can get a lot of different kind of job with a master in that. I personally... I would love to learn about tradition practice in other culture and different way of living, opening my mind to the new experience and Prolonging my horizon will help me becoming a better person overall, and I always wish that everyone could have the opportunity to do so. My goals are to speak English fluently and graduate and become a doctor. In this paragraph, I told you about myself. Second, I'm going to talk about Sudan's culture. People in Sudan have many culture. Women wear. It's fun getting to know somebody else and watch, listening to their experiences, and what may seem you know, simple to us is, is very dramatic and, and great for them, so. I personally haven't really done anything like this before, so I think it's gonna be really cool to actually like sit down and talk with someone after we've been like discussing each of our own cultures and stuff, and I think it's gonna be really cool to see what she has to say, and then I'm excited to tell her what I have to say too. It's really exciting to, to see what is going to, to happen with them, and. Um, you know, we're really looking forward to students making that happen and getting together and putting a face to a name and a story with a face and um, just reaching out and, you know, giving that handshake and saying, nice to meet you, right? I imagine that's going to be pretty powerful. How are you? Good. Talking to a stranger that you, you didn't see before is a little bit scary, but it was nice, it was beautiful. We used to talk and uh, know something different from each other. When I saw him today face to face, we exchanged our culture. And the thing who surprised me more, this is, uh, she has four children. I, I, I have four children too. <laughs> this is very surprise for me. <laughs> is a way to uh, create interaction. They're on the same campus already, so it's a way for them to, to get to know one another and to create um, connections. We're very different, and in a way that kind of brings us closer. We're planning on meeting again, and we have each other's numbers, making a new friend. Um, know how it got me a scarf to wrap my head and wear it whatever, however I'd like. This one from uh, my culture, I'm from Sudan, and we use this uh, noon time, afternoon time, and we stay together and drink coffee. It's a great way to link up students who are new to campus, who are preparing to enter into the college, you know, utilize that, those relationships as a resource and uh, as a way to, to unify the campus a bit more as well um, and make it more welcoming and uh, a greater sense of understanding. It's a really simple, simple process. Um, it takes a little bit of coordination and logistical planning, um, but the payoff is huge and it's a great opportunity for students.